Okay, so I'm a 14-year-old guy, and as you know, this is the average age that people start falling in love and having girlfriends. And on a side note, this is a start of a new series when I sit and talk about something while playing a game. Basically, this is like a story time video of how paranoid and crazy my ex-girlfriend was because we're not dating anymore. Now, before we start, let me just mention that her name was Ashley, and I just want to clarify that if your girlfriend is an Ashley, Ashleys will cheat on you at some point in your relationship. I Just saying, just be aware of that. But I'm going to start off the story with how we actually met. Okay, so this was somewhere around about in the beginning of January, and I was walking down the Molos, and if you don't know, Molos, and as some people call it, the Molos, is like a promenade, a park in Limassol, Cyprus, where I live because currently right now I'm in Moscow. Anyways, and I'm just going about my day and I see a beautiful girl. She caught my eye and I shit you not, I was sort of in the right place at the right time. A guy goes behind her and snatches out her phone and something else, I'm pretty sure. And she just starts screaming, stop him, stop him, stop him. So, you know, I'm a guy that I will take any chances to get a girl. And being a half blue belt in Taekwondo, I had the confidence to pelt this guy down. So I chase him. He was around about 15 to 16. I kick him in the face. He goes down. I give him a few punches in the face and I return her phone and wallet. That was what he grabbed as well as the phone. And, you know, I ask what's her name and we start talking, talking, talking talking i buy her a drink we start going out with each other and i got her number we started texting and we met up the next weekend and you know we started being very close friends and before you know it we were dating and in the beginning everything was going well it turns out she had a great interest in martial arts as well as me so so i was able to teach her a few things we constantly went out together spent a lot of time together but around about three months down the track things started to get a little bit now, girls have this absolutely insane mentality that they need to test their boyfriend to see if he would cheat. And little did I know, she put her sister up to it. Okay, so we decided to meet the place we first met, like the first time ever. And before I left my house, she actually said, I won't be there, I'm running a little bit late, and that her sister would be there. Now I said, okay, I'll meet your sister and I'll wait for you. I come to the Molos, I see her sister, and her sister starts like really insanely flirting with me. I'm talking to the extent of biting her lip. Now I'm not the type of guy to cheat but god damn her sister was hot and this shit prolongs itself until she starts giving me like a few hugs but i wouldn't budge because i know that i'm not the type of guy to cheat and i don't have this mentality anyways ashley comes and her sister just goes away for some reason now before that i knew that something was fishy i expected that i was about to be tested sooner or later so she comes to me she hugged me and she said oh my god ivan you do love me i put my sister up to and shit now i knew that from the beginning and just to make it obvious that i didn't know my reaction was what anyway so the rest of the evening went really well we had some coffee we took a few photos we walked down the mollus together talked about life but then something happened that really turned things around okay it's the weekend and i call her and we decided to go to a restaurant together on the beach have some fun spend some quality time together you know what i'm saying basically relationship things i go over there and if you're curious to where it was that was on ladies mile and that is a beach in cyprus that is really popular during summer anyways i go there and i shit you not i walk up to her and i see her with another guy now at first i assumed that this was her brother and everything was okay but boy was i wrong anyway so we rented a buggy because the beach is one big field with the water really far away so we went to the restaurant i know how to drive buggies so i sat at the steering wheel and drove the three of us and they both sat in the back seat and i watched the looking back mirror and i realized something was fishy they were really clingy to each other they were hugging they were like laughing together i even heard my name a couple of times but i thought yep this is just family things and i'm not going to interfere with them anyways we came to the restaurant and they got even closer and i started to get a little bit suspicious of what was going on so anyways i made the excuse that i had to go to the bathroom but i really didn't need to and i would just stand behind the corner watching what they were doing anyway so i stand behind the wall for around about seven Seven minutes and i literally see them start to kiss each other now i get really pissed i just stand there and i watch my girlfriend cheating on me with another guy when i was tested a few months ago anyway so i decided to embarrass them quite a bit and i know i can be a really f up individual but just don't blame me and i walk out there 
filming them and they just jump and act like nothing happened. And I said, yep, I saw what happened. What were you guys doing? Ashley, why are you cheating on me? But I wasn't gonna ruin my weekend. So, you know, I just sit there, I drink my Coca-Cola and then it's time to go because we've been there literally for the whole day. Anyways, we get back in the buggy and I drop Alex off and they literally, they're like, they're really close to each other in the back seat. And, you know, I was driving, I was pretty concentrated on the road and I was gonna literally give it to Ashley once Alex was out of the car. Okay, run about three minutes later, I drop Alex off where he called a taxi and Ashley goes in the front seat and I just give it to her. Anyways, after genuinely like four months of dating, you develop the confidence to say whatever the hell you want to say. So she starts yelling at me and crying and I just sit there, I was going pretty fast on the beach and I just say F you and that just sets her off and you know i'm driving so it's pretty dangerous for her to hit me or do anything so she yells at me and starts crying that i insulted her and then she just punches me right in the jaw to such an extent i nearly lost control of the buggy now i stop the vehicle and i just want to assess what happened i just sit and drive until i had to drop her off and she just starts yelling at me and you know i just decided to tough it out but the journey was pretty long anyways i drop her off and and I'm alone in the buggy right now. It's in the middle of the night. I called the taxi to a very far away place. I just want to clarify a few things that I didn't just come home and just let this go. I was thinking about it for a few days. Anyways, there was still a bit of shock, but I come home, I take a nice long hot shower, I make myself a cup of tea, I jump into bed, and I was like, yep, I'm calling that a day. Now, this isn't the end of the story, and I am fully aware that some of you guys may be thinking, oh, that's it, we never talk to each other again. What happened the next morning, I will truly remember forever. Okay, it's 7am, I get woken up by a text from an unknown number, which literally says, listen, it's Ashley's brother. Now, as soon as I read that, I knew shit won't be going my way today and for the first three lines of the message he starts swearing at me and I'm not gonna repeat anything here because I really love my channel and I want to keep making videos I don't want this to be deleted and after the three lines he just starts threatening me with all he knows and I'm not talking like modern threatening he starts threatening me in like William Shakespeare type language like I can see he put a lot of effort into this damn message and to give you an idea how long it was I had to scroll three times guys and to give you an idea how long it was I had to scroll four times I text him back and say that yes your sister actually she cheated on me and then she nearly made me crash the buggy because she punched me in the face while I was driving no her brother was not having it so anyways we text each other for a few minutes and then he says I don't care what happened I want to fight you today Anyways, we had a gym that we both went to and we rented the whole place and there was a ring in the gym So I woke up. I had a shower I dressed in my taekwondo uniform tied my belt around me and since taekwondo has open hand strikes I just put on a pair of MMA gloves now I knew perfectly and he mentioned this in the text messages that he did boxing and he'll knock me out But you know, I don't get scared when people threaten me with what they know I want you to show me that you can fight. Sorry. I'm turning into a little bit of a motivational speaker But anyways, we come there obviously Ashley's there with her brother and she starts laughing at me and saying you're gonna get dropped by my brother and her brother was he was a little bit bigger than me uh, up until this point I thought this was just a normal fight just because we were arguing with each other but then he walks up on the ring and a few of his friends were there and he says listen if you land one hit on me I'll give you a thousand bucks now after he said this I had to end his entire boxing career and in any case the fight starts and you know how the fight starts, you walk around the ring for a little bit and then he lunges at me with a straight punch, which was so bad, I, like, he didn't know how to fight at all. I mean, he's just a keyboard warrior, a shit talker at the end of the day. Anyways, I block his punch, I gave him one kick, one punch, and I gave him a spin kick and he ended up on the ground. And I didn't wanna, like, you know, make fun of him too much. And what I said is, is that, bro, like, is that all, really? Now, he had a little bit of blood coming out of his nose, and I could see that he was mad. Anyways, he comes at me with the most vicious boxing combination I've ever seen. But, you know, I block those punches, I dodge them, and I land a combination on him. I landed a punch, three kicks, I did a elbow strike and a jumping knee, and he was on the ground again. And I could see that his face was already messed up, guys. And I was like will you give up? That's it, I won. And I turned around and I wanted to make the bow that I won. This kid, I swear, he grabs a wooden stick and lunges at me with 
full power. Three thoughts are going through my mind right now. You had the chance to give up, you didn't, now you're going unconscious. Because A, that's disrespectful to your opponent, and that is breaking the rules. Anyways, he lunges at me, I block the stick strike, disarm him, push him back, break the stick in two, because I wanted to make this defeat as humiliating as possible for him, because that kid made me mad. I throw the stick back to him, and he's a little bit shocked, and I give him the most beautiful 360 roundhouse you will ever see, and he falls down on the ground straight like a pencil i mean it like exactly that way anyways all his friends including ashley started to like pick him up and drag him out of the ring but this guy went to thinking oh yeah i'm all that to realizing damn i'm just a bitch ass shit talker anyways lads that was the end of today's video please consider smashing the subscribe button liking this video and shooting them comments in the section down below if you want to obviously i'm not forcing anybody until next time peace out guys